Okay. All good? Yep. All right. Cool. So, hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to be showing off a Flash game here. Um, it is called Ambulance Rush. It's from 2009, as I'm sure you can see. So we're going to get right into it. Um, and time starts when I hit play here. So we'll be starting in 3, 2, 1. So, basically here in Ambulance Rush, we are driving an ambulance and destroying things, but we're actually saving the people and the things that we're destroying. So we're doing a good deed overall. Um, so how this game works, you're driving this ambulance in this 2D environment, and you're basically trying to keep it from flipping over. Um, if it flips over, your ambulance will explode, and you'll go back to your last checkpoint. Um, and in a speed run, of course, that's no good. That loses you a good chunk of time. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. So, yeah, you're basically just using your arrow keys here to tilt and whatnot and try to keep yourself, uh, keep yourself afloat, I guess you could say. So that was level one, as you could tell. Very, very basic and easy level. Um, and level two here is a little more complicated. It's got some more technical maneuvers, but nothing crazy here. Um, as you can see, you know, you get some pretty interesting physics moments in this game, like that, flying up in the air. Um, so this game, it's extremely linear and, like... It isn't cryptic at all, basically. The first time you play it, you can finish it, which, in my opinion, actually makes it kind of a fun speed game because you can learn it pretty easily. And, yeah, as you can see there, I flipped over. I'm actually going to get a pretty bad point here, save point. So we are going to be losing a good amount of time against the record on this level. But anyways, as I was saying, um, it's a very easy game to pick up. I'm just running the any percent category here um, where I'm just trying to get through all 10 levels as quickly as possible. And the current record is held by me. I have a time of 7 minutes and 27, or, uh, 26 seconds, excuse me. So there we go. Um, on to level 3 here. So level 3, I'm going to land up here, and I'm going to try to safely drop down without flipping over, and I was able to successfully do it there. The beginning of level 3 is definitely a very big reset point when you're trying to go for PBs, just because right there some stupid stuff can happen where, you know, you're, you lose balance and uh, you end up flipping over or something. Um, so yeah, the game, it's definitely something that takes some getting hang of, or takes a while to get a hang, get the hang of, um, at first, but eventually you kind of get the feel for it and you're able to get a pretty good idea as to how to keep your ambulance from flipping over, basically. Um, and that's really the only, the only thing in this game. You know, you do need to know a few of the routes throughout the levels, but nothing major, um, in order to learn this one, if you were interested in trying to learn it and play it. So here we have level 4. Um, level 4 is definitely another big reset point, just because, as you can see, we have all these cars here, and those trucks that I have to deal with can be pretty difficult to get over, but we were able to clear those without any problem. Right here, you got to be careful. you got to drop down nice and slow like that. If you go and come in there at speed, sometimes you'll land on top of those houses, and it can be kind of difficult. So there was level 4. And yeah, I do, you know, the concept of this game... I would say is definitely pretty hilarious. Um, the fact that you are like running over things and like you're saving them, quote unquote. And oh boy, oh geez, I that was actually pretty awesome. I'm surprised the ambulance didn't explode there. Um, still, still slow, but the fact that I didn't die was pretty miraculous. And we're hitting the save point here. So if we die again, we'll go back to that point. And we're going to try to hop over this chimney here, and there we go. We are able to do it. Sometimes you'll just run right into that thing and lose all your speed, which is pretty detrimental to the run. That can lose you, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of three seconds. Um, and, oh boy, what the heck? I don't know if I've actually ever seen that happen before where I flipped up in the air like that. That was pretty cool. So, there's level five. Right now we are 33 seconds behind world record. Uh, world record is most certainly already impossible. The time is actually... It's actually pretty optimized, um, the 726 that I have for the record. But we can still get a good time, for sure. Um, so yeah, not much, not a ton, you know, in this game that can really be a variant, you know? There's like, there's no RNG in this game at all. You're just driving and trying to make sure you don't flip over. So, um... There's nothing that's really going to be changing experience to experience besides the fact that there can be some weird things that happen where, you know, you just get some some weird bounce that you've never gotten before and you don't really know how to deal with. 
Um, as you saw there earlier, like when I did that weird flip after hitting that truck. So weird stuff like that can happen. Um, so here we're actually going to be introducing a new piece of tech into the run called turning around. We're going to hit the enter button there and uh, get some go up here to get some speed. And we turned around. So we can clear this gap. You do go a little bit faster if you turn around than if you tried to just reverse and clear that gap. Um, I used to do that until I realized that it was faster. Now we're going to turn back around because we're going back in this direction. And yeah. Um, these last few levels are pretty crazy. This run definitely progresses and gets pretty difficult. So if you're on a good pace late in a run, it's pretty stressful because these levels can just totally destroy you. Basically 7 through 10. There's some crazy stuff. Um, and we're coming up to the end of 7 here. And you'll see right at the beginning of 8 here, we're going to drop down and immediately turn around. So as you can see, we just turned around there. And because uh, if we were to progress there, we wouldn't be able to progress without it being really slow. And now we're back down here and we're going to turn back around. Um, so level 8 here. Right here is kind of a difficult spot. you got to make sure you don't die there because it's pretty easy to flip over i was able to avoid it um now i will start talking about level nine now which is interesting because it has the only skip in the run <laughs> um where at the beginning of the level i'm basically going to try to inch my ambulance up this little wall at the right amount of speed and then i'll be able to basically skip this whole beginning part where like the creators of the game intended me to have to like do some stuff where i went backwards so we're going to try to avoid it here. It's going to be right at the beginning. So as you can see, there's this wall, and we're going to try to inch up it like that. And we didn't quite get it, but we can just keep attempting it until we do get it. It is pretty difficult because you need to find the right amount of speed so you can get up there like that. That's what you have to do. Um, ideally, you get that thing first try. It's Really, it's a matter of just having the right amount of speed to latch yourself up there and be able to pull your ambulance on up. Um... And that's right there is a perfect testament of how <laughs> crazy the, the the physics are in this game. They just make absolutely no sense. So it's actually, it's pretty hilarious to run this game, if I'm being honest. And, ooh, we're taking a tumble here. Oh, God. Yeah, I wasn't really able to get through that without crashing. Um, But, yeah, the physics in this game, they're just they're just crazy. Like, <laughs> you you see something new every time that you play the game just because, you know... You're just flipping and flying around, and it's this, like, ragdoll stuff. We're going to try to inch up this wall and latch on. That one's much easier to do. It's not really a skip. It's just sometimes when you fall down, that's how you have to finish that level. And we're already coming up to the end of the run here. We're on level 10, which is basically just really bumpy, and uh, you'll jump all around. We're probably going to get somewhere in the neighborhood between an 810 and an 820 here, which is solid. Um, would be second place on the leaderboards. Granted, only two people have ran any percent, so, you know, if you want to... You want to get some more categories or find a new game to run? Uh, I definitely recommend Ambulance Rush. It's going to be an easy one to learn. Fortunately, taking a death there, that's going to be a little detrimental to our time, but it's not it's not too bad. Oh, boy. Did a nice flip there. All right. And we're hitting that construction worker to save him, of course, along with this innocent bystander up here. I also do wonder how running over the cars make them instantly combust, but, I mean, pfft. hey... Um, so time is going to end here after when the final title screen comes up show, saying congratulations. Unfortunately, getting another crash there. It'd be nice if my ambulance could stay put for once. And, yeah, we're going to try... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We just did about 18 flips. So, coming up to the end here. And there's time. So... We got an 8.34, not too bad, a little over a minute slower than our uh, world record time. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're looking for a new game to pick up, Ambulance Rush is definitely an easy one to pick up. It's, it's in all honesty, it's an extremely simple game, and uh, overall, very easy, um, so I'd recommend it. I recommend trying it out. Um, I think it's a pretty fun speed game. So yeah, uh, thanks to Gaming Land and everyone else behind the scenes putting on this marathon. I've got some other runs coming later in the marathon tomorrow. So uh, look forward to those guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. That was Ambulance Rush Any Percent.